All right, what's going on YouTube? I have a new application here uh, based off of the XEA developers forums. It's a one-click error root application. doesn't require you to use your computer at all, which means you no longer have to use the Google SDK to ADB push anything to your device. This is a lot better for people who had troubles installing it. I know I did it in the beginning until I understood how to get it working. But uh, this is a neat application, does it directly off the device. As you've noticed, a lot of new devices, the Droid X and the iPhone, have been getting newer uh, jailbreak and rooting methods where you can do it directly on the device if I haven't used a computer. Hopefully that's a new mild threat for uh, new uh, exploits. So you click the, I'm going to give you the link in the description, you click the application thread and you'll be sent to this page. It's the, uh, the entire disclaimer for this application as well as the instructions. Now, it says that this is not a free app, blah, blah. It is a free app. Uh, just donate, you know, in the end of it. it these guys, JK Sun Eclipse, work really hard on developing for the Ares. And it took a really long time to get root for this phone. Surprisingly, one of the weakest Android phones, and it didn't get root till much, much later. Anyway, so as you see, the steps are really simple. You just download and install the application. Run, read the disclaimer, press the button, reboot your phone, and it reboots with the ambulance recovery. And you can use the recovery to flash the rootme.zip that is on the SD card, which is when you when you run the application. Or you can run the custom mod of your choice. Um, if you want to run a custom mod, I'm going to show you how to install the, uh, how to get ROMs onto your device. Since a lot of people have also been asking me, hey guy, how do you get how do you get this ROM or where do you get this ROM from? So I'll show you right now. We're gonna go back to the uh, SDK developers website. This is the go to the main website. Okay, we're in, we're in the forms now. You're gonna find your device. And you're gonna type in Eris and HTC Droid Eris. And down here where it says Droid Eris Android Development, you'll click there. And here you'll find a whole list of ROMs that you can use on your phone. Now I'm going to show you where you need to put these ROMs onto your device. So let me put my device on and I'll put it to turn on USB storage. It's really simple guys. You just download the ROMs. It'll come in as a xxx.zip format. So I'll minimize that. Oh, my phone just came up. I'll open up the phone and we'll go to where I keep my Aris ROMs. As you see, they come up with various names with a dot .zip at the end. All you have to do is really just drag and drop it to the root of your memory card. And then when your phone's in reboot and recovery mode, i.e. when you first do the the, uh, the rooting exploit, you'll be able to do this much quicker. So I suggest you do this first, download the ROM of your choice. I've been using Chaos Froyo, but it seems that there's newer uh, ROMs available. Tainted, Tenzo, uh, Fresh ROM. These are our new ROMs that have been put on the market. Ah, nonsensical. Okay? Even I don't know some of these now. So that's it, guys. This is teaching you how to use the one-click exploit on your Droid Aris and where you can get the uh, ROMs. I'll put both links in the descriptions. Hopefully, people won't ask me any more questions about this. All right, guys. Take care.